<laughs> on this uh, expenditures for 2020 is nine million five hundred and some thousand, and in 2021 is eight hundred or eight million four hundred. So that's about a million dollars difference. I mean, it looks to me like, you know, the valuations are well, close. Why, why is there such a, because that's basically that 8.4 is what we're going to generate taxes, right? No, that's what we're, we're budgeting. That, those are the budget figures. We're generating a tax that's 5.5. Mm -hmm. The ad valorem tax is the amount that you're going to generate. Oh. Okay. Like with your levy. Okay. Okay. Marshall, Marshall. What's up, Marshall? Um, the Can-Am is done. We'll actually pick it up this afternoon. Um, sometime. I'm not sure if Pat's going to do it. Touch and grab it. Uh, do you want to take the check with you? Okay. Hey, who just signed it? I did. Mm -hmm. Was it the top? That top one. There's 32. You know we have the one truck in Maxville that I told you guys had the crack engine block and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I that was it. So we haven't really had luck finding the motor. Um, but Forestry Service has another truck available. Same thing. And I talked to them about getting that truck and basically running this one until something happens to it and then just switch this up. Or we can pay to have the motor pulled out, put in this one or whatever. We own the truck in Maxwell. So they're actually gonna sign it over, get us title for it, it'll be ours. We yeah. do it, whatever. The truck you get from Forest gonna be a free truck? Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Um, so surely you're not going to do any kind of motor swap even if that blows up. I mean, if we get this forester truck, wouldn't it be easier to just transfer stuff over? I think so. Yeah. yeah we'll I put that one on her boy for, or parts just save it for parts for, parts. for yeah. ourselves. Because we will have, we've got two of them in the county. We have one at Seward and we've got one at Maxville. Yeah. Spare tires, transmission, differentials. Yeah. Um, like I said, I and I figure for seven hundred and fifty dollars you can't buy you can't buy a truck yeah. for that. You can't you buy a tire, can you? Uh no. Yeah. No. So I would get that truck and that those guys have time in the winter go ahead and switch it over before that other one totally grenades. Yeah. In the middle of the fire. Yeah. In the middle of summer when everybody's busy. Then maybe if the motor doesn't totally grenade, we might have extra parts. Right. Is it the block or is it the pin? It's the block right. on both sides, driver side and passenger side. Hmm. Hmm. Basically where the pan bolts just straight up at the back of the motor. Just cracked. I mean, you start it up and it's actually spraying oil out. <laughs> yeah. So it must be in, in part of the pressure system, you know, side of it somewhere. But, so there's that. Um, I've got the contract for the building from Mansell's um, between last meeting and now and getting everything ordered. It has gone up. We did change a few things. Um, we did not realize that the, the insulation that we had originally went with, the six inch, was we were going to have a sheet pole inside the building. Because it's not a, it's not like a vinyl back insulation, and so we opted out to spend a little extra money and spray foam it. And then we don't have to worry about it. So it, it come in about thirteen thousand one hundred dollars higher, but it puts us at one hundred ninety-eight thousand three hundred dollars. But we've got with what their contribution is and what I have. I mean, we can go up to 250000 
Is that spray foam going to be with one of Yeah. Yeah. Spray foam is probably better, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I've got two sheds of spray foam. It's uh, two inches on the. I think Chris told me it was two inches on the walls and one inch in the roof. But they're going to wrap all the. They're going to wrap the roof, the rafters, and stuff like that. So it won't be directly on the tin. So that way, if you ever have to pull a panel out, you don't have to lose all that spray foam and stuff. So I didn't know if you guys wanted to sign this contract with Mansell or if you want me to sign it. Well, we approved the purchase or the expenditure. So this is a joint venture, right? Mm -hmm. But um, you're paying for the building. Mostly, correct? Mm -hmm. I would say he probably signs that. Huh? It, I don't think it matters. Because we already approved to do it. So. Yeah. But yeah. Are you comfortable signing it? Or do you yeah, I don't have to sign. Okay. It. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just, huh? On this contract for the building, it's between Maxville and the fire department and the county. Is it okay for Marshall to sign the contract? Yeah. But. But you drew up this contract. That contract is basically marrying what St. John did with the county. This is just a contract for the building. For the building itself. The construction. Oh, for the, okay. That's okay. the agreement. Sorry, I, I, I for the cost. This is just agreement. agreeing to the, the price that he's quoted us on the building. And yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. no problem. Yeah. I said some questions yeah. about this, and that's why you and I are going to meet right. in a little bit. Yeah. What but, when you say wrapping the roof rafters, uh, how are they going to make sure that they're burning? There's trouble. What are they going to do there? I think it's under the tent. They put a... Oh, uh, Thank you. Oh, great. Yeah, I don't know. He just he got in there $2,000 wrapped for roof. I wonder if he's at like... Uh, Plastic. Can I make a copy of well, like a building wrap? You know. Yeah, I mean that the only thing makes me worry about <coughs> that is that stuff that doesn't ever come down and I mean your foam isn't stuck to the tin. You know, when they did mine they talked about doing that. They said, Well if you ever if the roof gets totaled out of hail, you know, you pull that tin off. I said, I'll just have you guys pull some screws out and put another layer of tin on top. You know, you don't have to remove it, right? right? My only concern is that over 20 years, if that stuff gets loose, it really comes down. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, you may ask him. I don't know. He just said this is what what the he had talked to them, and that's what they recommended they do. I didn't argue with him because I'm not a yeah. I'm not a building. You see what I'm saying, though? Yeah. So the insulation would stick to the plastic rather than the metal. Yeah. In the room. I'm assuming. So what would happen over? But it'd be on the rafters too. I mean, yeah. they'd spread the rafters. Would they? Would they just run that sheet down the whole deal, and then nail the plastic up to the rafters? No, I don't think so. I think it would be between the tin and the rafters. It would just be a, a thin wrap across the top of it and then everything would be spraying on the bottom side. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I can see their point if you ever need to pull the tent on it, but... And it's going to be a red roof with smoke gray sides. Go Mustang. <laughs> gray trim on the red and red trim on the gray. And it's going to have a door on both sides to where you drive. So it will have actually four doors on the west side and two on the east side. Um, the north end is where the tender will go. And that was part of the other price increases because that truck weighed 80, I want to say 89,000 pounds full of water. And so we bumped up from six inch to eight inch fixed concrete on the north end. 
just so we didn't have any problems. Um, and then they'll have two drive-through bays in the middle, and then just a single bay in front of like their office area on the west side. How's the tender coming out there? Uh, we're just waiting on some lights and stuff, and it should be very good. What do you guys decide to do on the, the pumps and stuff? We just let the pump that's in there and figure out the air valving and stuff. We, we removed a bunch of that stuff. We pretty much gutted all that stuff that was useless in there and pulled it out. And we just put valves in there and, and connections. Yeah, I could have been there one time that looked like a nightmare. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like a nightmare anymore. <laughs> yeah. They had air lines in there like a wiring pump. Yes. Yeah, and we eliminated a bunch of them. So. Okay. So it's got your PTO pump on? Mm -hmm. Yep. Is that tank baffled? Do you know? I don't think so. Too bad you can't take about 10 foot off the back of that thing. Yeah. Lead sled. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it says 20,000 down to order building. Is he going to order it like right away? Because I need to get the tax exempt filing done with the state. And should we go ahead and cut a check for 20,000 the next? It'll be two weeks. Yeah. Just so we have it. Well, we're doing AP this week, and it's every other week. Oh. Or we could, if he needs it, we could cut it next week. You might let me know. Okay. okay. I will call him and find out. Okay. And really, that's all I have. Do you guys have anything else for me? What do you think they'll get started on that? Uh, he said as soon as the building gets here, but you know, he said it could be four to six weeks for the building. And Maxville will take care of the demolition of the brand new site. We're going to take care of the demolition, yes. Okay. Is that going to be a training or just have it decided? <laughs> the building will actually probably sit further to the north of that building. Kind of Chris went over and looked. There's already some entrances on the west side from the street up there. He thinks he's got it pretty much where there's a minimal dirt work. You can go right in and put footings in and concrete and, and it'll be north. So I think we'll try to salvage it if the concrete pad under that building is good. We'll just save it as concrete parking lot. And then you guys for your water hydrant, you'll just do something there at the city. Mm -hmm. Do we know the exact boundary line of the property? Do we need to have it surveyed? Well, I don't know as we know the exact, but I think I think it's probably pinned over there. Well, I mean, that'd be up to you guys if if we're not building something on something we don't yeah. know. I mean, <laughs> it's a hundred and fifty by hundred and fifty lot. Okay. Well. I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe you should spend like a thousand bucks and get it surveyed. I would just didn't get it surveyed. Before we know exactly where the lines are. Then we can. That's not a problem. I'm not a problem with that. You gonna take care of that? Yep. Okay. I that. would, just so we can know. Yeah. Yep. I mean that a thousand bucks seems like a lot, but I mean it gives you good. Yeah. yeah. There would be some about yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Well, especially if you're moving the building north and not building it exactly where you're tearing down the one that's right. there. I'd feel a little more comfortable if it was going right where that building is and you were doing deed for deed, you know, but, yeah. So it's an open lot to the north of that building. Everything's it's open clear to the north, clear to the library. Clear to the street. Yeah. Does Tad own all of that then? Yep. He owns okay. everything to the library. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you guys. Okay, hey, Marshall. Thanks, Marshall. Yep. Okay. Minutes. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of the July 7th, 2021 meeting. Second. Then move and second. We accept the minutes of July 7th. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried.
Oh, Teresa wants to know if we can pull those water fountains out of the courthouse. Uh, They've been covered up for over a year. Um, um, will water fountains ever be a thing again? I hope not. They're disgusting. I'm not a fan of water fountains. If we, I mean... What about, I mean, I would hate to cap off the, those water lines. What about, would people use a uh, deal to fill water bottles? Yeah, but heavy price those. Yeah. But we got a bunch of COVID money, right? Well, yeah. Um, I mean, if, if our employees would use them, I think that that would be Well, a most of the employees have those water things with the big jugs like and the offices. water. Anymore, they have them in there. Uh, this would be mostly for the public. And then who brings a water bottle? Other than like abstract or lawyers, you know, and register deeds. I have bottled water back in my refrigerator. If somebody asks for a bottle, we get it for them. Is there anything about that says that you I have mean, to supply water no, for them in a community? No. no. I just do away with them. I mean, yeah. I don't know what else to do. They've sat so long, we're going to have to probably start new if we do start them back up because you can't keep them clean. They're disgusting. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I would hate to, uh, I mean, I doubt very many of our employees were using the water fountain. The employees don't use it. No, it's for the public. <clears throat> but, again. There's one on second floor. There's one on every floor. Third, second, and first. And there's but I one would over hate here, if they too. would use a water bottle filler and we capped off the lines. And, but if you're saying everybody's got Coligan deals. and Everybody pretty much does or they bring it from home? If we ever decided that we wanted to put water back out there, you could put one of those little Culligan deals out in the hallway. Mm -hmm. and if you want to supply that to the public. But, and I don't know. Tracy just asked me yesterday if I would ask you guys um, what I'd, I thought. I'd be fine with doing away with them. Because, like I said, they've been covered up probably a year now. At least. And as far as I know, nobody's said anything. So I think people are used to their not being, you know. So be a good time to get rid of if you're going to get rid of them. What about this one right out here? It's a new one. It's a new one. <clears throat> yeah. And, and there's just little kids. I would leave these alone. Yeah. yeah, I would leave, <laughs> probably leave these. I mean, I think they're doing like a tumbling classes in there and stuff. I think for a little kid, you know, having water yeah. fountains is a good deal. Um, yeah, I was going to have these plugged back in. How much, it, I mean, we already have somebody coming to service the Coligan deals, right? Or, mm -hmm. or the employees They're, are getting those yeah. on their own? Mm -hmm. I was going to say, if we already had somebody coming, we just put one out in the hallway with paper cups and a trash can and we, we just do it. They just do it on their own. So. I would say do away the ones in court and leave this over here. Yeah, I mean, I agree. The ones, I don't see how we have much of a choice of doing away with what we got now because they're, they look 20 years old or at least. And, Probably at least that. And they've been shut down for a year and a half now or a little over okay. a year. So do we need to yeah, get they've been unplugged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one. But there's water on sitting inside of them, I guess. I don't know. Probably the drain of the trap. Because I did notice last night, you know, the recognition has. The thing with bottle there. fillers? The bottle well, they got, no, there's a water fountain out there in the hallway. And the kids are over shooting hoops and stuff. They came over and got a drink and they went back. So I think Yeah, I can here. see this one staying. And I can talk to mm -hmm. Kevin to see if there's anything better we could put over there. Want me to do that? I mean, you know, I figured we got a soda there's machine. There's a pop machine it's on the first floor. Um, I don't know. I'm just thinking it's when you good. go to replace them, I mean, they're huge expense for no more people. Yeah. And I do think they're half the people can't keep their mouths off the fountain. I, I just think they're disgusting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would just do it away with them. And if okay. we get a big public outcry, we can put a colon good machine okay. out yeah. there. All right. Because drinking out of a paper cup is a lot better than. I agree. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. This whole pandemic deal may get rid of a lot of water fountains. Yeah. You know, if these guys, 
get these out here. Okay. I'm going to run back across the, to the courthouse, and uh, I got a couple appointments. I think I just need to see what time there, and then I'll come back and look. Anything, Bryce? Nope. Todd, we're adjourned.